Dylan explains how Bud Light have done nothing to support her during this time. Tastes like homo! Yeah! What's this? It's a Bud Light gender makeover. Cost the company four billion. That's my rooster. Gas Mask Tribe, how y'all doing? Now, people, if you have not been living under a rock, then you probably already noticed the Bud Light controversy boycott. Yeah, they lost a $4 billion hit due to Dylan Mulvaney, transgender, and her woke mob. Group Vice President for Marketing Daniel Blake and Bud Light Marketing Vice President Alyssa Heinerschneid are both no longer with Anheuser-Busch at all. Did I drink this gay ass shit? Give me one of them Bud Lights, fuck you it. got it. Let's go. They're cold too. We're drinking Bud Light. We've been drinking Bud Light consistently on this show. What? Because I'm Mexican? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm sure the comments are fire. <laughs> With th those those folks that like to get riled up about stupid shit. Well, the the most uh, recent way. Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney trans stunt cost the company four billion. That's my rooster. Billion. That's billion. A 30% drop in bottle sales and 50% drop in draft. Call me crazy, but I think it's working. I was waiting for the brand to reach out to me, but they never did. And for months now, I've been scared to leave my house. I have been ridiculed in public. I've been followed. And I have felt a loneliness that I wouldn't wish on anyone. For a company to hire a trans person and then not publicly stand by them is worse, in my opinion, than not hiring a trans person at all. On April 1st, Dylan posted a sponsored video to her Instagram announcing herself as a Bud Light partner. The video was quickly found by conservatives who called to boycott the beer. Since then, Dylan has not admitted to what happened behind the scenes. Fans rushed to Dylan's comments, flooding them with love and support during this time. Those those folks that like to get riled up about stupid shit. Well, that's what I said. You know, I I before the show, I was like, just back to the conversation we were just having. There's not a lot of comfort in the modern world, man. After two months of remaining silent on social media, Bud Light finally posted something. But they are trying everything to win America back over, and it's just not working, man. And I've been drinking this forever. Yeah. And I don't gives you comfort. I'm drinking my fucking I'm gonna God damn it, I'm gonna drink a fucking beer, Joe Rogan. Yeah, a Bud Light too. Nothing. Let's be new. All right, let's drink this puppy. Tip initiated. Tastes like homo. Yeah! I'm gonna drink a fucking Bud Light and it's yummy. Forget about everybody's outrage. <laughs> Settle down everybody. <laughs> Relax. They fucked up. Just let them off the hook. Again, this is an attempt to uh, to buy back what Bud Light did wrong here. They fucked up this one thing. It's not even that big a deal. But when, when Kid Rock shoots your fucking beer, it's game over. Pass out that bull. 